guys welcome to bug house i don't want to think about it i really should have read the description but i didn't i mean it can't be bad right we have nothing but good games on this channel but still anyway like comment subscribe click the little bell let's hope we have a good time here we go yeah What the? Oh. He was getting out of bed. Oh, yeah, okay. I will say this, though. I am getting a little bit uh, tired of the low-poly PS1-style graphic shit. I know, it's a, uh, I know it's a filter and a lot of people are using it, but uh, I think it's time to move on, guys. Light switches. Light switches can be turned on and off. No shit. Use the darkness to evade any threats. However, too many light switches on at once, time may trigger a power cut. Use the darkness to evade any threats. Epilepsy warning. What the? What is this shit? A uh, flashlight. Uh-oh. I see a freaking timer on the right. What is it? What the fuck is this? Hello? Wendy. Oh, shit. That thing's going down fast. Holy fuck balls. Okay. I wonder if I should shut this off. Okay, the flashlight does nothing. <laughs> you guys see that door? L l does the, the flashlight does nothing to that door. That's not how light works. <laughs> Fuck! What the shit was that necessary? Why is the drinking fountain so low? Why are the cabinets so fucking high? Who built this house? I have so many questions. Wait. Oh, this is... I'm back in my room again. We just beat the game, guys. What the fuck was that? Hello? I will poon you, man. You don't even know. Is this my... This is not my room. Pick up Christopher from doctors. Pick up Christopher's arepiprolozola pills. Groceries. See mother on the 6th, 10 p.m. Talk to in-laws about funeral arrangements. Christopher's play date, 15th. Meet at play center. Man, fuck Christopher. And we're back inside the... This house is one big circle. It's a circle. Mama always said life is like a box of chocolates. That's very annoying. What did this do? 
Man found dead by 13-year-old boy. On October 31st, an unnamed child found his father hanging in their family home after a supposed divorce between the parents. This has been the 12th suicide this year related to spouse-related issues. Relating to spouse-related issues? Wouldn't it just be relating to spouse issues? Huh. Police aren't suspecting foul play. Man found by... Okay. In the neighboring town of Maston, three teenagers and one police officer, M. Andrews, were found brutally murdered in the Miller and Son slaughterhouse. It is still unclear what happened within this abandoned slaughterhouse, but officials say it has made all officers and EMTs who arrived at the scene resign, being too gruesome to describe. These officials are now seeking psychiatric therapy. <laughs> The Greenfield Raiders scored 24 points last night against the Knoxville Bandits, helping boost them to the top of the Major League for this Sunday's game. Little League has reportedly been canceled for this evening due to severe weather warnings issued by the Greenfield Weather Analyst. Base. Severe flooding and thunderstorms are apparent and could be a major cause for power outages. Oh, so let me guess. The light... Shouldn't have read that. Well, shit. What is that? Note from mom. Fuck! I left a list of chores for you to complete whilst we're away tonight. If you have any problems, give Nana a call. Please don't forget your pills. If anyone comes to the door or window... To what? If anyone comes to the door or window tonight, please go to your closet and lock the door. If the power goes out, the fuse box is in the basement. I love you so much, Christopher. Just know Papa is watching down on you. He was so proud of his little boy. Love, Mom. Clean up dirt on the floor. Do the dishes, do the laundry, food in the dog bowl, take your pills. Dog bowl. Okay, so... Food is in the dog bowl. Hello? Oh. Wait, what? I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this in the dark. What were my chores? Oh, clean up dirt on the floor, take your pills. All right, we gotta go to the basement. Because if not, I think I'm fucking. Probably not a good idea to go to the basement. But we're in here anyway. Hello? Yo, fuck your mama. The power is turned off by storms and other forces. Your sanity will drain rapidly until the power is enabled. All electrical equipment will be disabled. Hey. What's up, motherfucker? Why does it sound like we're being anally probed by aliens right now? Yo, where do my pills be at, though? Where's this shit? What the fuck is in here? Yo, you could totally hold like you could hide like bodies in boxes that big. I'm not saying I would. I'm just saying, you know, totally walk bodies right out your front door on a dolly and know to even know there's a body in there. Probably dispose of it pretty good too. Be amazing. Where, where do it is that my pills be? The fuck? What is this shit? Who the fuck is that? What the fuck is it? Hello? Okay. 
the fuck is that? Yo, you need to relax there, son. You need to relax, son. The fuck is that? Like a turd with legs. Who would, where's the TV? Oh, we're supposed to be cleaning the house, huh? Okay. Yeah, parents always have their kids doing chores. And shit. What the fuck is fuck at? The most fucked up basement. Hello? What do it is? What come noise? What is the noise? I don't understand. dirt on the ground. What the fuck was that noise? What am I doing? What is the goal here? Hello? If anybody comes to my door, go to my closet and hide. Cleaning the whole house? What are we doing here? Imagine. Oh, these lights suck. What? Old laundry. I'm such a good child. What the fucka fucka? Then go to my closet and hide? There ain't shit here in my closet. Why is there so much dirt? The dirt is AIDS. Where's the stairs? I don't like it. Where are the stairs? My batteries are going out. Why come they make some bullshit? That's what this is some bullshit. Fucking bullshit. What the? Oh. I said we run this mother out. Turn this mother out. What do it is that noise? What do you mean? What the fuck? Cut your shit, you fuck! I don't know what I don't know what we're supposed to be avoiding, but uh, I'm about to run out of flashlights, so I'm gonna stop using it. Take your pills, clean up dirt on the floor. I don't know where my fucking pills are. 
bathroom, yeah, bathroom, I think, maybe, bathroom. Where do it is my pills be? Can't find my pills, man. Mom worked extra hard to get them in suppository form. Move wall. My diary. 1980. I found a hole in my closet today. It's smelly and old, but I feel safe in here. Like nothing bad can happen to me in here. This is my own secret. If I told dad, he would just cover it up and say this is dangerous or something. Eric was outside my window last night asking to come in and play. But when I asked mom, she looked so scared and called dad. When I told Eric he couldn't come in, he got so angry and walked away. I went to the hospital today. The doctor said I should try writing in this journal to help them understand me. I don't want to, but mom's asking me. This feels stupid and so pointless. They were talking a lot, but I was listening until my mom started crying. I'm so used to her crying now, and Eric says she hates me. He's probably right. Everyone does. The doctor gave me some pills to take. They make me so tired I am always asleep now. I fell asleep in class and everyone made fun of me. Something inside me wants to stop taking these pills, but the doctor said it'll make me better. I took some more tonight and waited for Eric outside my window like every night, but he never showed up. I was so sad, I feel like everyone I know hates me. I woke up this morning and saw Eric outside again. I was so happy. I talked to him for a while and he asked to come in. But as I went to the front door, my mom shouted at me. I explained, but she was so mad. She kept saying, Eric can never come in again. I think Eric overheard us talking because I heard him shouting outside. He seems really mad and I hope he still likes me. I drew some more pictures of me and Eric. Maybe I'll give them to him tomorrow. I did some coloring today for mom. She put them on the fridge. She was so happy until I asked if Eric could come over for supper as he was outside. She looked so scared and gave me so many pills. I felt so sick and I threw up later. Eric must have left again because I didn't see him at all the night after that. Yo, a kid like this has fucking issues, bros. Hoof it. Hoof it. Gotta leg this shit. Leg it. The fuck is that? Take your pills. Hello? Listen, Eric, my butt still hurts. I don't want you around me right now. Okay? I need some time to recover. You gave me an anal fissure. Google it, guys. It's a real thing. Pills!
They weren't highlighted. Nope. They were not. Hello? What the fuck? Hello? Hi, Christopher. It's Eric. I see no one's home tonight. Please, can you let me in? Your mom won't know I came in. We can play some games like hide and seek. I know how much you like hiding in your bedroom closet at night. Maybe you could start there. When the lights go off, you have 30 seconds, and then I'll come in. Get ready. Don't let me catch you. Fuck. Oh, you motherfucker. You cheated, son of a bitch. You cheated. You cheated. You son of a bitch. You cheated, you fuck. What a ass. Asshole. Asshole. I'm lost. I'm lost. We're dead. We're fucking dead. I'm lost. Fuck you. Huh. It's hide and seek. I'm literally supposed to stay hidden. Hello? Can't hear shit with this fucking music. Motherfucker. Oh, this is some bullshit. Am I in the upside down? Where's Eddie Munts? Need him to do a bitchin' fucking guitar solo on top of the trailer. What the 
fuck is this? How do... How dare she take my only fucking child? I'm so sorry, Christopher. I'll do everything to get you back to your father, that fucking bitch. What? Wait. How dare she take my only fucking child? I'm so sorry, Christopher. I'll have to do everything to get you back to your father, that fucking bitch. While I'm stuck here rotting in this tiny apartment, she's out being some slut using my alimony and house to fuck whoever she wants. She'll pay. Oh, she'll pay. I have just the plan to really get to her. For life, it involves a chain and her garage. I know she's out all night, so I'll sneak in and give her the biggest surprise of all. My fucking dead hanging body. See you in hell, bitch. You know, sluts don't like it when you call them bitches. Hello? Hello? I can't take this anymore. It feels like this whole house is cursed, like it's slowly eating at me. I feel like I'm dying inside. Nothing feels right anymore. Christopher's constant crying and whining about Eric, my husband's attitude, and always starting unnecessary arguments. Just yesterday, he pulled a knife out on me with this crazed look, yelling about finally ending it all. I just took Christopher and ran to mom's. God, why did I marry him? I've decided a divorce is the only thing left for us. This relationship has gone on for far too long. James, this needs to end now. Otherwise, I don't think I'll survive any longer. I'm crying every night now. Only the wine is calming my nerves. I can feel the other moms at Christopher's school staring at me every day. This house is cursed. Ah, shit. Hi. Bye. Fuck that. Thank you. 
Okay. Eric has started to act really strange. He's been telling me to do things which I don't want to do. He said I had to kill a cat, otherwise mom would be hurt. I didn't do it, but mom seems upset now. Did I do something wrong? Maybe Eric was right. Last night we had pizza party with dad and mom. It was so fun dancing and eating pizza all night long. I got tired though and started to draw Eric who was watching us play and dance all night long. Mom saw me drawing and looked scared. I said he was outside but she didn't believe me. Dad got really mad so I ran and hid in my secret room. He never found me. Mom said I need to go for a checkup today but I don't feel sick. Eric said it was a trick but I don't believe him. I'm starting to see him a lot more now which I don't mind. He's always so funny and kind to me, not to my mom or dad, though. What's next? <laughs> Christopher's mother has brought in Christopher today for a well being checkup. At first glance, he appeared normal. However, with a glazed, fixed stare outside the window, this seemed normal at first. Although, when he mentioned he could see someone smiling outside the window, I became suspicious as we were on the sixth floor after all. After analyzing Christopher from most ailments of his age, I believe PTSD and or psychoactive dissociative disorder fits the closest. However, this is rare in someone his age and has no real treatment apart from a con constant dose of sedation. I need to delve deeper into this young boy. He seems as if he's at the breaking point. Note, Christopher has a possible, possible alternative personality called Eric. Extreme caution must be taken when evaluating Christopher due to the sensitive nature of this condition. No relapse at this moment in time. Citation and extra analysis needed. Hey, look, man, you don't have to tell me, man. I'm fucked in the head. I get it. Okay. Not lying, guys. I've been in one of those fuckers before. I was young. I was fucked up. It happens. Been in one of these, too. like my ex-wife on our honeymoon.
Thank you, Christopher. Really, you've allowed me to become free. You are exactly where I've been these past years. Waiting and waiting and waiting for you to let me free. Now it's time for Eric to become in control for a while. All those doctors were wrong, Christopher. They just wanted to hurt you and take you away from me. But you listened to my commands. Those pills hurt me and they helped me from... And they helped me from take control... What? But you listened to my commands. Those pills hurt me and helped me from take control much sooner? But you listened to my commands. Those pills hurt me and helped me from take control... Okay. I can't wait for you to see what we've become together. I know this is confusing, Christopher. I wish I could explain better, so instead allow me to take control even more. Allow me to commit my final act. Christopher, allow myself inside you. Okay. You should never ask a child if they will allow you inside them. Okay, it just sounds really fucked. Ah, shit! Bro! And there's shit on the walls. Been here, done that. 10 year old anniversary of murder. This very day marks the 10th anniversary of the horrific Moore's residence murder. The bloody crime scene was acted out by the once 13 year old Christopher Moore, who was reportedly in a psychotic episode. He is now spending his life in the local Greensfield State Institution for the Insane, otherwise referred to locals as the Bug House of Greenfield, due to its holding of the most criminally dangerous and insane. Neighbors called police when sounds of screaming came from the residence, which turned out to be Christopher stabbing his own mother over 73 times. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Christopher's defense was that he was suffering from multiple personality disorder, a new disorder discovered by Dr. Schultz Edwards in 1983. The jury plead insanity, and he was spared the death penalty. Christopher, who is now 23 years old, is still being held in the bug house of Greensville. Christopher is still claims to this day that Eric killed his mother, not him. Pretty good. I had a couple of jump scares. Don't get that often. <laughs>